where every day counts, and especially those early days, they can make a difference. A possible sequestration can mean a delayed opening to several roads across Yellowstone National Park. I don't think it's a, it's a, um, it's a terminal worry uh, that the park's not going to open. It's just a, um, perhaps, reduced services, perhaps a few days later opening. With a unique town like West Yellowstone, so heavily dependent on traffic in and out of Yellowstone National Park and the sequestration date just days away, the question is how could this potentially impact local businesses here in West Yellowstone? People are going to go on vacation. When they're sad, people go away to forget. When they're happy, they go away to celebrate. Um, everything's going to be cool in Yellowstone this summer. While the fear of reduced business lingers, Kevin Zulis believes cuts are necessary for a healthy economy. I don't think it's a major deal anywhere. We need to cut spending wherever we can. 3% is a drop in the bucket. But could this reduction stop people from coming to the nation's first park? I don't think it's going to have an impact on the main reason people come to visit Yellowstone, all the features, the wildlife. The truth is the park is open, will be open, will be open, and every other business that I know of plans to be open as well. Open and ready, local businesses are already preparing for a busy summer. Bookings are up for this summer over last year, and last summer was a great year, but our advanced reservations are ahead of last year. Sequestration or not. In West Yellowstone, Adam Bell, MTN News.